Hello! Welcome back to Module 9 of Setting Up Your Journal with OJS 3.0, Workflow Settings. Workflow Settings allows you to configure all aspects of the editorial workflow, including file management, submission guidelines and requirements, peer review guidelines and deadlines, and email templates and notifications. This is one of our larger modules, and we've broken it into multiple units. This video is Unit 1, Components. Submissions to your journal may be comprised of multiple parts, or components, such as the article text and related datasets. The Components section of the workflow settings is where you'll be able to manage what subscription component types are supported by your journal and can be included with submissions. To reach components, we begin on our journal website and access our dashboard through the top right corner. Hover over Settings in the left navigation bar and select Workflow. Components is the first tab in the new frame and the page you land on. OJS has a default list of possible components preloaded into your dashboard, and these defaults can be restored at any time using the Restore Default button. If there are items in the list that are not relevant to your journal, click on the expansion arrow beside the item and either edit or delete it. If you are in need of a component type that is not included in the default list, you can add it by clicking on Add a Component. The required fields for adding a new component type are the component name and designation. Enter an appropriate name. Designation is a feature still in development, so for now, just enter a double hash. More information will be released on this feature in the future. Following these fields are some additional options you can activate for this component. If appropriate, you can indicate that files of this type are to be sorted by chapter, indicate that these files are independent from other published content, or indicate that these components will always be supplementary files. Finally, you can use the drop-down menu to indicate the file type grouping of this component. When you're satisfied, click Save. Once you've edited your components list to only include components relevant to your journal submissions, you can use the Order button to reorder the list. The order is reflected on the submissions page, so it is best practice to place the most frequently used components near the top of the list for ease of access. When you're satisfied with your order, click Done. That concludes our overview of the components section of the workflow settings. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next unit.